my caregivers. This is part five in the five part mini series called Identifying the Enemy for Dementia Caregivers. Um, and we're going to be looking today at exhaustion. Um, we have looked at the disease as your enemy, stress, guilt, worry, and now exhaustion. Caregiving is exhausting. There's no doubt about it. You have one body, but you are now carrying responsibility for two people in that body. It's heavy and it's hard. Exhaustion will set in and it can make you sick. It can even kill you. So please remember that you are just as important, just as precious to God as your loved one is. So what are you going to do about this enemy of yours called exhaustion? First and foremost, protect your sleep. This will likely creep up on you. This particular issue almost took me out and it often takes out other caregivers. I hear about this one often when I work one-on-one -on -one with them. My children told me that they were afraid they were going to lose me too. And that's how your loved ones may feel about you when you let that exhaustion creep up on you and you keep on thinking you can just do it all. Figure out a way to protect your sleep. Bring somebody in at night on either a volunteer or a paid basis. Get yourself a little nest somewhere in the house and protect your sleep. When, they, when your loved one takes naps, you take naps too. Do anything you can to protect your body from this enemy called exhaustion. Also, pay for the things that you should not do and ask for help with those things. You may have to ask for it on a volunteer basis if your finances are really limited or stressed. Uh, but if you do have enough, for heaven's sakes, pay for the things that you should not be doing yourself. It's also important that you take breaks. It can be simple little things like just walking outside for a few minutes uh, or going for a short shopping trip, just getting out of the house, getting away a little bit, um, going for coffee, going for lunch with friends, uh, taking many vacations. Just whatever you do, please commit to taking breaks. If they are not selfish, they are kind because you're going to end up being a better caregiver. You're going to be more healthy. You're going to be more relaxed and happy if you allow yourself to take breaks and be resourceful. Ask your friends, ask your family to give you more ideas. This is a time in your life when you need to bring people on board to help you. If you try to be a hero and do it all yourself, do caregiving as a solo sport, You've got a really high chance of crashing. And if you crash, they're going to crash with you. So please remember, this is not selfish. This is kind and long run. So no guilt here. If you can reframe the way you look at things, something like what I just described, when you're giving all that you have to give each day, you simply must let yourself off the hook. If you think about it, what's the payoff? or embracing some of these other enemies, guilt or worry, or allowing exhaustion to build up with you taking no breaks. I can't think of one thing in this context that's positive or productive about that. It doesn't make you a better caregiver, but it most certainly can make you a worse one. Since things drain you of energy, you'll have less to give which is only going to make you feel guiltier and more stressed. So recognize these things as traps and energy drainers. Then tell yourself that you're not falling for the trap of worry. You're not falling for the trap of guilt. You're not going to let yourself get into the trap of exhaustion, period. The only exception to this is if you're doing a neglectful or hurtful thing to your loved one that's causing unnecessary pain to them. It may help you to have a trusted person or two in whom you can confide and someone who will give you feedback about inevitable choices that you are going to be forced to make in your caregiver journey. Please listen to them. 
they will help you work. They will help you to know when you are beating up on yourself and falling into the guilt, worry, exhaustion trap. If you can master your real enemies, even in part, you're going to feel more peace. You're going to feel more satisfaction in your caregiving season, and you'll be better able to see it as just that, a season that most people will experience in some form at some point in their lives. I want to remind you, caregivers, you are doing God's work. It's a noble and strong thing to be there for someone when they need it. May this be your finest hour.